All right, guys, here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Season 25. Content red represents changes. Season 25 begins on December 10th. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Yes. So next, next Friday, we're going to go. The new seasonal theme. So we know all about this. We've been reviewing this forever. It's soul shards. You sock them either in your helmet or in your weapon. You get major, major damage. I'm going to, I'll probably put out a final video that goes over all this in detail. Ooh, cosmetic rewards. Getting season 17, we began reintroducing, reintroducing previous rewards to make them available for players who have missed them. We're going to get season 13's rewards. Gonna get this teddy bear. Okay, I might have. It's possible I might have missed this, so I might go pick these up. We know it's nice to have something new to aim for if you participated in previous seasons. We're continuing to, to provide the new end of journey rewards with two new cosmetic ones. Survive the Lords of Hell and complete season 25 and get the pain of Tristram. That's actually a really cool one. And the Dark Lordling. You could run around with Diablo by your side. I already have Mephisto, and now we can get Diablo. That's actually a cool pet. <laughs> I will definitely, I'll definitely complete it for that. All right, so... You can earn a total of five stash chabs to unlock an additional one. Complete a Torment 13 Rift in under 5 minutes. This is absolutely free. Complete a Greater Rift 60 Solo. That's completely free. Kill Greed on... T Dude. Dude. These are so... All of these are so easy. These are all free. Okay, here are the Conquests. Complete the game in under one hour. Reach 75 solo. This is free. So this is free right here. This is super easy. The thrill. You just put an LOD gem. This you go to the Cursed Pete. Master 8 set, set dungeons. This one takes way too long. So it's going to be do the 75 solo. And it's definitely going to be 45 with an LOD gem. And then you can either do the Cursed Pete or do the one hour campaign. Okay. Hadric's gift, the starting sets. <sighs> Might of the Earth is decently powerful. Um, it's not the Barb's best build, but it's pretty good. Invoker is very powerful, and it's very easy to use with nothing. Impale is, is incredible, especially if you open up with a Carlay's Point. Uh, Sun Wuku is absolutely amazing. Inarius is not my favorite. It's just a generic multiplier. Jade Harvester is terrible. And this is probably the best starter that you can get, the Firebirds. Firebirds just barbecues straight from the beginning. All right. Let's look at what we have in red. Okay, so they further nerfed Sliver of Terror. They further nerfed Sliver of Terror, and they nerfed this rune. This is the most powerful one, so this actually makes sense. Um... Still don't know if we, I, it still might be the best. Let's keep reading here, but they nerfed Sliver of Terror, if that makes sense. It's, it was the best one by far. Uh, I'm not sure why they nerfed this. I'm not sure why they nerfed this. I was not under the impression that this was all that good. So, uh, pff, yeah, so it's still Sliver of Terror because they nerfed the other thing that was the other choice, right? Um, I don't know how it's not Sliver of Terror. So we're still going Sliver of Terror. The Stain of Sin, okay, is unchanged. Dregs of Lies, this is the super, super, super powerful one. And they cut it in half. And so this is going to, this is going to nerf the Ina Monk a bit. It's going to nerf the Ina Monk a bit. Um, Ina Monk's still going to dominate, though. 
Yeah, this this was too strong. So the Ina Monk and the Rats are going to come down a bit, but they're still going to crush. So good changes by Blizzard. This and this were probably too strong. I'm really not sure why they nerfed this one, though. Maybe I'm missing something, but I was not under the, under the impression that this was overpowered. Looks like the rest of it is going in as is. So, yeah. The main thing that I was looking for is, are they going to nerf Sliver of Terror and Dregs of Lies? They did. The Ina Monk is definitely coming down here and all other pet builds. Um, well, they, they should have fixed the clones. If they haven't fixed the clones, I'll send them a message. They absolutely cannot let the clones go through. Oh, wow. They, they made the spirit of Arashir a little bit better. Um, that, that 75 or that 7,500% might look like more than it really is. Um, but wow, Arashir now, Arashir now is definitely doing, definitely doing solo 150 and Arashir is going to be in the running for best RGK. Yeah, it's going to be a couple greater if tiers. So Arashir is really, really looking to be one of the best RGKs now. It's going to be able to just shred bosses. You know, the one thing that I was hoping they would add to a Demon Hunter... The one thing that I was hoping is that they would add a little bit, not a lot, a little bit of survivability to the to the set, and they did not do that. The only problem with Marauder is it's a bit squishy at very low Paragon levels. I hope that's not going to dissuade people from playing it. I don't think it needed any more power, but I wish they would have given it a little bit of survivability. So. I don't see on here that they fixed the, the clones. I don't see on here that they fixed the clones, so... Um, so, ch changes to the tier list, probably, probably really the same. The Ina Monk is going to benefit a little bit less from the... is going to get hurt a little bit from these changes, but it's still going to be extremely powerful. It's still going to flatten everything. Probably still the best XP meta. Probably still the best solo XP meta. Uh, Witch Doctors are getting a little bit better. Going up a couple of tiers on Arashir. That's not a bad thing at all. But honestly, the thing that I'm very excited about is... The thing that I'm very excited about is this pet, surprisingly enough. I want this Diablo pet. How many of you want this Diablo pet? Well, the 10th, my body is ready. My body is ready.